Hello friend, I am Samadhi back with a new tutorial video regarding soil mechanics. In this video, I talk about disperse soil structure. If you are a gate aspirants, engineering service aspirants or SSCJ, then don't skip this video. You will be losing something. Like my previous video. I'm gonna show you some detailed discussion regarding dispersed soil structure. First of the first to first, what do you mean by dispersed soil structure? How it is generated? What type of electrical charge is acting? As well as what is the advantage and disadvantage? Watch the video till the end. Brush up your concept, enrich your knowledge. In last video, I am discuss about the flocculent structure. Here is the I button. Just click on this I button. First to first, we have to understand what do you mean by dispersed. This is the main word, keyword dispersed. If you understand what do you mean by dispersed, then everything 40 or 50 percent will be clear. Let's see. Dispersed. That means suppose a solid particles is there okay and these solid particles belong in some continue continuous phase continuous phase means continuous phase means either this phase will be solid either fluid either gas there are no discrete it's solid continuous body okay suppose this body belongs in this solid continuous phase the thing is that its composition and its composition completely different so in that scenario what happened in that scenario when these types of material or particle getting wet by water or something then these particular particle disperse from this continuous body that means this is your c1 composition this is your c2 composition and they are now detached so these whole phenomenon these whole phenomenon is known as a dispersed okay now we talk about dispersed soil structure okay what happened suppose there is some continuous material medium and here is some patch of soil structure soil this is C1 composition, C1 composition, C2 composition, this is C3 composition where C1 not equal to C2 not equal to C3. If the soils are getting wetted, soil are getting wetted, then after wetting, what happened? C1, C1, C2 are getting are getting detached from C3 material. Some material look like or some material acting like this this particular material known as a dispersed soil structure so now we talk about how they are generated now we talk about electric charges in flocculent we as we to we said here is plus here plus here minus 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 here minus 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 in flocculent structure and there is other particles they are look like this okay so how this happen how 
how they are generated these types of particles are ready for remold then what happened due to remold they are losing their attraction force they are losing their attraction force that means suppose this is your flocculent structure and you starting remold what happened they are getting compacted they are getting compacted then maybe this particular particle maybe shifted this side this particular shifted this side maybe this particular is shifted this side suppose you are compacted on this side then again vice versa will be happen so in this particular scenario what happen the attraction force reduces attraction force reduces as attraction force reduces due to their repulsion force they are arrange themselves as h to h connection as there is no kind less attraction that is why they making a they arrange themselves in this way and due to repulsion there will be some small small voids in this manner dispersed particle are generated so if you say sir what do you mean by that what is the name of this orientation this orientation known as h to h you can say okay then compared to flocculent there is a void less exactly if void less permeable less permeable less you mean dense high compressibility less so these are the features of dispersed soil structure and when you are starting this remold process so due to so due to slow remold process gradually strength increase yes fastly strength decreases but gradually strength increases so this particular strength after remold is known as thixotrophy can you connect so this was this bonus tips in this video so what you learn thixotrophy thixotrophy means the process increasing strength after remold that is known as a thixotrophy that is why go with this subject with the full of concept it will be very clear so let's talk about some advantage and disadvantage sin suppose you are suppose you are real estate engineer are you working in a real estate project so real estate project that means your soil should be hard your soil should be less permeable your soil should be retain more water your soil does not allow water in that scenario 
dispersed soil structure is the best if you found for flocculates soil structure then you have to convert flocculate to disperse either you have to change the site but but if you are irrigation engineer working in an irrigation project so you have to discharge water that means soil should be loose soil should be more permeable in that case allow up water high so in that in that case if you find dss i mean dispersed soil structure then that is very harmful for you then you need to convert flocculent soil structure and otherwise you have to do something so yes this is something about my site so in this video i want to show you what do you mean by dispersed and how the dispersion happen and how this is work in the soil structure where i draw some diagrams and then i talk about the electric charges and how the flocculent convert to disperse that i i covered and then i talk about some features about the dispersed soil structure and i talk about the orientation and here i share some bonus tips the thick so topic and i show some advantages disadvantages so if there is kind of doubt do comment in the comment section still if you are watching my video subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for never miss an update because i am coming with this types of video almost every day thank you for watching this video more knowledge more opportunity